OK, we are asked to solve the equation x squared subtract 5 is equal to 0. Give your answer to one decimal place. Now, there are numerous ways of doing it. The one decimal place, OK, could make you think quadratic formula. And you could definitely do that. You could also uh, use uh, other methods. So I'm going to show you a, a, sh a few methods. So let's just first of all show you what I think is the easiest method. The easiest method is to recognize this as a difference of two squares. This factorizes to x subtract the square root of 5, multiply x plus the square root of 5, and that would be equal to 0. Okay, because this is of the form x squared subtract a squared. Okay, be, um, and so therefore x is on the one hand root 5 and x on the other hand is the negative of root 5. You type root 5 in your calculator, you get 2.2 to 1 dp. So the answer is 2.2 and negative 2.2. The simplest way, I think. Another way you can do it, only in this case with a quadratic, because there's no x term. It, it, remember, quadratic in general is of this form. Now, there is no x term. b here is 0. So in this particular case, we could add 5 to both sides. We get x squared is equal to 5. Then we could square root. Remember, you get a positive and negative. x is positive and negative, the square root of 5. This is the only type of case you can do it, where you've got x squareds and a number. OK, so again, we get the same if we decimalise them. Lastly, if we did want to use the quadratic formula, a is 1, b is 0, and c is negative 5. OK, we'd work out b squared minus 4ac. b squared minus 4ac would be 0 squared subtract 4 times 1 times negative 5. It would actually turn out to be positive 20. So therefore, substituting into the quadratic formula, negative b, or negative 0, 0, so it would be the square root of 20 over um, 2, and x would be the square root of negative square root of 20 over 2. Trust me, these also give the square root of 5 and the negative square root of 5, and hence, when decimalised, give the following. So we're done there.